This video is powered by cardmarket.com. We're here with Calvin Chow. Calvin Chow, and what did you do here? Uh, I got third place at New Jersey. Awesome. You what didn't did, lose. This. You didn't lose. You got a prize card. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what you played. I played um, Tristar Brandon and Three Candinas. Three Lakers, pretty much just standard like the Trickstar engine, Lily Bell. I accidentally tagged it. And then for the hand traps, three Drolls, three Ashes. I drove reincarnate a lot of people. Yeah, I did it. Light stage. It's a good matchup. Three engage. Three horned bit. And one of each of the spells. I didn't want to play two of these because I just want to like search one and usually like if they clear your board you can like game them or something. And it's really good against like your um, brandish. Steal my link. Right. <laughs> two desires. I always play two. I don't know. I don't like three. It's just too foggy <laughs> for you. Yeah. One upstart. I think playing upstart is fine because you don't. You don't really need to burn your opponent for game, and this like adds a spell. Three terraformings, three scapegoats. This card is actually like the best <laughs> when you're playing against like any deck. As long as you open this, you're like winning. Yeah. If you have like everything to like back it up to. Three uh, impermanences. A lot of people like. I said this in the middle. And a lot of people play their cards in the right middle. In the middle? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why though. It's just like, like they, a habit. Yeah. I think it's just a habit, but I got like a lot of people doing that. <laughs> and then three reincarns. I think three is like the perfect amount. Some people like play two, but you actually like dish this a lot and like search this a lot because it's good against like every matchup and gokies. Yeah. Beside. <laughs> Nero Sirmos. This is for gokies. Or like, I guess the pendulum deck too. Yeah. <laughs> I play against Gokis, but I never drew this. Mm -hmm. Two mind controls. This this is actually like better than Widow Anchor, except you can search Widow Anchor, of course. And I sided this against like Brandish and uh, Trick Stars. Two twins. This is pretty much just for all two guys. It kind of sucks siding this in against Trick Stars or Brandish. But I never do it against all the guys. Alright. <laughs> Three shared rides. This card, I mainly side it when I'm going first for sure. But against um, Brandish, I think it's fine for a source I can like siding these in. Mm -hmm. Three evenlies. This card is, you have to side this against uh, Trickstar and Brandish or any like Trickstar variant or whatever swarms the field. Yeah, just in case they don't kill you. Yeah. Hit <laughs> them. And then two strikes. This was for like rogue or it works when you're going first too. Mm -hmm. Against brandish. And for the extra, two cogries and one blue. I think this is like the perfect amount. I never really needed more or like wish I had more. This is fine. Uh, I used this card for game like once, and I only summoned it once, but it worked out. So it it worked okay. out. <laughs> <laughs> and this card was actually godly, Trisbane. Yeah, I summoned this a lot, and against uh, when they multi roll you, if you can light stage target their widow anchor and then like summon this and then blow up their whole back row, it's like really strong. And one bore load. I, this card is pretty good, but I never summoned it. Like the other cards, like were more relevant. The firewall. I didn't really firewall anyone, but you you have to play if you play like scapegoat because there's like a chance it can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, one in Grisu. During testing, it, it, this came up a lot because you you can like uh, link spider and like a phoenix or service and then, like summon this, and then there's usually like one more token left and you can like pop it and then use your brandish engine. I didn't summon at all in tournament though, but I still think it's pretty necessary. One Holy Angel, I summoned this once, and it, it was only just to like trigger uh, Trisbana. <laughs> oh 
Yeah. And then the Nightmare Engine, Unicorn, Cerberus, Phoenix, and Mermaid. Uh, this one was mainly just because I wanted an uh, arrow pointing down if I ever needed to make these. And I wanted to like uh, <laughs> clear like the main monster zone or something. I never summoned this though, and no one ever gave me a bleed yeah, to pop it. No, 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 no. <laughs> The link ones. You have to play these. Spider in that. Link All right. right. And then uh, shout outs. Hell oh, yeah, he already yeah. know. He already know. Bro. Shout outs to Bruce Zang and Dad <laughs> <laughs> and Dad at Assumption, best testing partner <laughs> in the world. Hi Ed. <laughs> Elvis Boo. That Elvis um, over here, boy. Elvis is not looking. <laughs> Look at him. This is failing. <laughs> and uh, Trevor Johnson. Old school RuneScape. Cameron Parker and Anthony Gonzalez for like lending me most of the deck. I don't actually own like the brandish engine, it's like too expensive and the impermanence is too expensive too. <laughs> Shout outs to Caitlin and Team Jobber. Team Jobber. Awesome. Yep. We got you, Jesse. Yep. Bye man. Well congratulations on getting third place. And thank you for the deck profile.